In this video, I'm gonna share the first step you need to take to solve any subnetting problem. Hi, my name is Jelana James and I'm an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional. Now, previously I created the four column method subnetting cheat sheet. It was a basically an easy way to uh, a chart that you, you create uh, on your exam using four columns that you can use to answer any subnetting question. If you don't know how to create this chart, please watch this video here. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through step by step so that you understand how to quickly use a subnetting cheat sheet to solve any subnetting problem. Please subscribe. Okay, so here are the five steps of subnetting anything. Usually when you're presented with the IP address, you're like, okay, I don't know what to do or start. Well, there are actually five steps you need. If you take them in order and you just move step by step, before you know it, you have figured out uh, the subnetting question. Now it's important that you use the subnetting cheat sheet. It's just four columns. You easily recreate, uh, watch a video to see how to quickly create it. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is find the interesting octet. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Okay, so there are actually four ways to find the interesting octet. To find the interesting octet, if you're presented with the IP address as well as the seeder, you need to figure out which one of these, there's only four, which octet to focus your energies on. Now, there are four different ways. One of the ways is just to memorize the default seeder ranges. So if it's nine to 16, you know, you focus on the second one. If it's 17 to 24, you know, you focus on this one. And if it's 25, between 30, 20, between 25 and 32, you focus on this one. So with this one being 26, this is the octet that you would focus on. So that's one way. Just memorize these cedar ranges. The second way is to just count in blocks of eight or 255 because 255 is eight. This is the way that I use to uh, figure out the, my interesting octets. Okay, so you just write 255. So 255. Okay, so that's eight. So that's not that because we have to get closest to 26 without going over. So you, I'd write 255 and I say, okay, no, ignore that one. That's 16 and 255 here. And that's eight, that's 24. That's as close as we're gonna get. So now I know that I need to spend all my energies focusing on this octet. So that's one way you can do it. Another way is to just, if you're giving the um, subnet, address, subnet and not the seeder, then you just simply Pick the one that doesn't have 255. So that would be this one, because it ends in 192. That's like way easy. And lastly, the other way to figure out the interesting octet is to just memorize the class, the class IDs. I mean, the class addresses. So class address ranges. So class A is from zero to 127, class B is 28 through 191, and class C is 192 to 223. Whatever method works for you. But based on this method, with the, you just look at the first octet. So it's 197, so we know 197 falls within this range. And so given that it falls in this range, we know that class C, this is the interesting octet. So those are the four different ways that you can find figure out the interesting octet. You can memorize the default seeder ranges. You can count in blocks of eight or you know 20, uh, 255. You can pick the one that doesn't have 255 when you're just given the subnet, um, or you can just memorize the class ranges. Whatever method works best for you. At least now you know when you sit down to the exam and your mind go blank, the first step you need to do is find the interesting octet using one of these three methods. Okay, and the next video, we're going to discuss how to find your subnetting row and use your subnetting cheat sheet. See you in the next video. Please subscribe.